Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about a few more leaks that we need to go over, so we got a bunch of new information, and we're going to be breaking it all down, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, yeah, Supergirl Season 6, we've had the return of Melissa, go check out those recent videos, because we got our first look at Melissa in the Supergirl suit, and as Kara Danvers, just a couple of days ago, so I'll leave the links in the description below to those videos, so you guys can go check it out. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and break down another part to do with those leaks. So, I mentioned it in that video, but I wanted to do a proper, full breakdown of who this could potentially be, because... In the video that was posted, which was Jesse Raff's birthday video, and everyone was singing happy birthday in their own kind of kooky way, and basically, in the background, people noticed, and I noticed as well, that there was this guy. And this guy, 100%, isn't a crew member, and it isn't a cast member we're used to seeing. And you have to remember that this video was taken inside the tower set, and this person is wearing some clothes that aren't very normal, and they're very distinctive, and we're pretty sure it's a Kryptonian. So, anyway, before we actually go into that, let's talk about the context. So, in David Harewood's episode, which is the episode before this, because they filmed that episode, they wrapped, and then the video of Jesse's birthday was when they were shooting episode 8 for season 6. So it's past David Harewood's episode. And we know for a fact, and I made a video on this the other day, that from set photos, there is 100% going to be a spaceship in David's episode. That is 100% confirmed. The camera team on the set of Supergirl put up a fake spaceship looking drawing and that was to eyeline match for the actors so the actors had to look up at the spaceship and pretend it was a real spaceship because obviously afterwards that's going to be CGI'd in in another shot and so you have all that spaceship storyline going on in David's episode we've seen the photos where David's actually included and he's in his Martian Manhunter gear so that means he's definitely inside the spaceship and we've seen inside that spaceship we've seen the production design and it doesn't look like anything else and that's definitely inside that spaceship you're seeing that will be CGI'd afterwards, but they actually created a real set for the inside. But who is inside the spaceship? That is the question we have to ask. So could it be the Daxamites? Well, that's what we theorized about, you know, a couple of weeks ago when we first got an inside look to the set, because it kind of looks very similar, it has similar color scheme, and it has a similar design to the Daxamite ships we saw in season two, but I'm not 100% on the Daxamites. So let's move on to the next theory. Could it be a villain? Well, it seems likely, and most of Supergirl's threats are outer space villains, apart from sometimes it's people from Earth. But I think you can pretty much count on, it's like a 50-50% chance that it could be a villain spaceship. Another idea is it could be a Martian spaceship, and that would kind of explain why Jean is there. Maybe Jean has some sort of connection to the ship and to whoever is on there. Or, and I think the most important, and I think the best theory is, it could be Zor-El, Kara's father. Now, why on earth would I say Zor-El out of nowhere? Because he's supposed to be dead. Okay, so the reason I say Zor-El is this, and this is what people have been theorizing about. People have been theorizing that in the behind the scenes video for Jesse's birthday, where you saw the first look at Melissa in her Supergirl suit, there is a man standing next to David Harewood. And like I inferred at the start of the video, this is not anyone that we've seen before. Like, it's not anyone that we regularly see, is what I meant to say. And this guy looks incredibly like zor actor, and I don't know his name, but he looks pretty much bang on. And so, he's wearing the same distinctive blue clothes, which I think gives it off that it's not like any of our other normal cast members, and it's only due to the quality that we can't kind of make out fully who it is. Obviously, there's a chance it could be mon at the same time, that's a chance. However, I don't know how likely it is that he's gonna be back on set this early. I'm expecting him to come back at some point, but not right now, and so it has to be someone who is Kryptonian, because the specific clothing that he's wearing is Kryptonian. There is no doubt about that. So could it be zor whose spaceship that was we saw in the episode before? That could totally be it. And so the main question is, how is he alive and why is he in the tower with Team Supergirl? Like, why is he here in the first place? So was he on Argo? Well, he wasn't there when Kara and Monel went to visit Kara's mom 
and obviously in Crisis, Argo was destroyed, but then at the end it was referenced that it's still around because of Crisis, it didn't actually get destroyed. So maybe he somehow found his way to Argo after Superman and Lois, they left Argo and they came back to Earth. And so maybe that's why Kara hasn't heard that Zorel is alive and he reached Argo somehow. I have no idea how he would have survived Krypton's explosion if he didn't go off with Argo. So that's always a chance that he came from Argo. The other idea is he just came on a spaceship, somehow he survived and he's back in the tower. Another possibility is that spaceship has nothing to do with Zor-El and Zor-El is here as a sort of imaginary figure or like a hologram, kind of like how Kara's mum has been there in the past as a hologram and so obviously the actor's there on set but they're actually not there in the present. But I'm gonna say that's pretty unlikely considering how things are lining up with the spaceship turning up literally the episode before and then suddenly Zor-El or a Kryptonian shows up out of nowhere in the episode afterwards it pretty much adds up to say, yes, a Kryptonian has probably landed. So I'm pretty sure this is Zorel. Leave your theories in the comments down below. Do you actually think it's him? It's pretty much the bang on clothing that he wore before. However, it could be a different Kryptonian who just wears a very similar thing. And yes, the color may be a bit different, but that's only due to the photo and the quality of the video not being very good that we may be seeing it in not the right kind of tone or color. And so it must be noted that he's also inside the tower, this Kryptonian, whether it's Zor-El or not. So it's probably not a villain unless he is there doing a fight scene. It doesn't look like things are wrecked inside yet. So I'm going to say this person, this Kryptonian, isn't bad. And that leads into the theory that this could potentially be Zor-El. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about all of this? I know it's a bit crazy. But with the spaceship confirmation in episode 7 and then episode 8, they literally start filming Melissa's back and it would make sense for them to bring back Zorel literally when Melissa returns so that she can have her scenes with him. So that's about it for that topic, let's move on. We've got two other topics that I want to briefly cover before we head to the end of this video. So Stasner is back, he's back on set and people were theorizing this is Staz. And like I said, the clothing doesn't match anything that Staz or William has worn on the show as of right now. And it's definitely not him because that is Kryptonian clothing right there. That is for 100%. And anyway, Staz wasn't actually back on this day. He came back the day afterwards. So that was his first day back on set just the other day. When I posted that video, he did a quick funny video of him, Julie and Melissa. Uh, we saw Melissa in Catco or Obsidian dressed up in her reporter wear and so yeah William is back and he's gonna be around at least for you know the back half of the season and as far as I can see it doesn't seem likely that he's gonna show up that much in the first six or seven episodes but you'll see him in episode eight onwards and I don't know if he's gonna be like a series regular I presume he's still staying as a series regular and I don't know what's gonna happen with Gar and William but obviously they've teased that something is going to happen with them and there is going to be some form of relationship forming. But considering the major criticism against them doing this, it's going to be pretty surprising if they actually go ahead and explore the William and Kara stuff. Considering people have been theorizing that, you know, at the end of the show, Monel is going to reunite with Kara and Supergirl is going to go off into the future and live happily ever after with the Legion of Superheroes and Monel and they're going to be together. And William doesn't seem that likely, but there is definitely the chance because he's more of a viable option because he's literally there. And although we're pretty sure that Chris is going to return this season, considering he's living in Vancouver and his show isn't going ahead, it didn't get picked up for a pilot, the 30 something sequel. So he's totally available, but you know, we haven't had any confirmation on that. That is all theorizing right now. So all I'll say is, it's not that unlikely that William and Kara is going to happen, so don't be surprised if it does. And so with this video that he released the other day, you can tell there's going to be more reporter stuff as we've always seen with him and Kara and you know, those who work around them at CatCo. And so let's move on to the last thing in this video. So there was a new scene that was being filmed. They were filming a new scene in a new location slash set. And so this new set is a smaller lab, like a science lab for Lena Luthor. So she's going to be moving to a slightly different location. I don't know if it's in the same building or they're creating something new or she's moving completely. But they were filming some stuff there recently, I've been told. So for now, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new. And remember to go check out my past few Supergirl videos and Arrowverse videos, as there is a lot of leaks that I think you will find very interesting if you like this video. So I'll leave them in the comments down below, including our first look at Melissa in Supergirl Season 6. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.